Would you rather not talk about the company? No, I'd like to talk about it. I beg your pardon? This is why we are here. Well, <laughs> I want you to talk about it, and I've made five passes at it, and so far I'm not well, getting surely anywhere. Well, you've studied your history of us. I mean, come on, prompt. <laughs> Well, uh, do your business. Uh, well, uh, we're jet lagged. <laughs> Humor uh, us. What kind of a company it is, and you said it's a company that deals in communications. Well, it's simple, right? We'll do anything that we're offered if it's worthwhile. So, like, uh, at the moment, me and Keith want to dabble with film soundtracks. Dabble with film soundtracks. What does that mean? I don't know what well, that is. Well, it's my disguise. What is it? Where'd you get the hat from? Got it in Disneyland. Mad hat is that? What happened to the ten and six? I threw it away because it cost a bit more than ten and six. What were your thoughts about the whole concept of a royal family, of a queen or a king, princes and princes? Uh, that my father worked very hard and had a lot of tax taken off to support what I seen as a bunch of lazy, good-for-nothing inbreds. Uh, and I think time has proved me right. Uh, the British now completely agree with me on that. So my attitude would be about them now to sell them off to Disneyland. <laughs> well, look to the future, right? It doesn't totally look all right, then let's, have then, much then, of one uh, boys right, and let's take it, there then in let's, the US of A. Then let's take it to the next... Hi, a pop hero nowadays, I hear. Excuse me for talking while you're interrupting. I have to do a couple <laughs> of commercials here. We'll Humor me. Continue, uh, not for long. <laughs> Okay, take a seat. Oh, um, damn, you got me on a stool. I know. Oh, no, I'm that. sorry. I'm and sorry. And we all know what stool is German for. Right, yes, thank you for that. <laughs> Excrement. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We're building right. into it. What would you say are the main differences between these two bands, the Sex Pistols and the Public Image Limited? We're better. That far corner there was uh, two budgies and a hamster, which. Uh, we used to call Sid Vicious. In fact, that's where the name Sid Vicious comes from, named him after my hamster. You know, he used to look a bit like a hamster because he had kind of slightly bucked teeth. And... <laughs> Why do we Being think... Being left alone. Just leave me alone, you know what I mean? I know what I want. What do you want? Freedom, I think they call it. The hippies used to call it that. But I bet there's a better word for it. What? I don't know that yet. Back now with John and Keith, who are with Public Image Limited. You know, it's been so long that I've almost forgotten where we were when we were at it. Uh, you went into a bit of a tantrum, as I rightly remember. Oh, how will this music differ from what we thought was rock and roll? It's no more of that 12-bar ditty, wavy hair in the breeze, platform boots, flap your flare nonsense. This is the kitchen. There has been something as revolutionary as the Sex Pistols, the ongoing force of me. And this you must never forget. I am as relevant now as I was then. In fact, more so. You need me. I don't need you. And then from there, this bit here. Do you know what that's called, John? Fish. That's called the skin. <laughs> A lot of people think that maybe your first record be a reggae record. A lot of people are totally wrong. <laughs> Why all the in, infamous uh, language? Infamous language? You're joking. What language is what that? Language? I speak nothing but the fucking English language. <laughs> that's the only thing I've been brought up with. And if that's infamous, then ha ha ha, tough shit. Now nobody can blather on ad infinitum and exaggerate and mythologise about a band that wasn't too brilliant in the first place. I mean, I, I know where all the talent lay, me. <laughs> you see, uh, some people have been be bemoaning the fact that Sid wasn't there. Well, it, he couldn't be because he's dead. True. Just a smidgen. All right. Your I'll... lines are old. Thank you. <laughs> what would you do if you were not a rock star? For example, when you were a little... <laughs> Ooh, bang of this number, baby. Really nice. Isn't that lovely? Mm. The sea salt's a bugger. Why? Because it feels like I've been crunching sand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now getting tips from John Lydon about fucking cooking. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Well, let's go to some questions uh, for, uh, for John and Keith from our viewers. Could I ask you a question sent in by one of the viewers? This band to be awful, come no. on. You really don't care what your audiences think of you, do you? No, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. And this is the bedroom. 
How would you describe yourself to someone who, who doesn't know you? Handsome, young, virile. Raus! Raus! Camp Lida is in the house! And now for the serious business. <laughs> Get the fire going! Come, dogs! Ha! Ah, vip, vip, right, open wide. Good man. Now, what does that taste of? <laughs> I'd like to say crab, but a really bad crab. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Malcolm's trying to avoid you? Oh, isn't that obvious? But how can you resolve the situation? Kill him. We're looking for that shining star somewhere up there. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that uh, we are somewhere all... Somewhere over the rainbow. Now, remember when you have tea with the vicar, you have to put your little pinky out in the air like that. Could I just... Yes, chaps. Very nice to see you. Do you want to go for your pot round for a cup so of tea? Much. Thank you, Razor. Has someone taken that very first weak one on there that I was happy yeah. to have? Well, I, I, I took mine from there. Oh, uh, that's it. Never mind. That's why we split. <laughs> oh, what? You heard the ultimate <laughs> word. Yeah, but he's retired. Your hair looks like rhubarb. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Let's spice things well, up a little bit. Well done. <laughs> Take some water. <laughs> How would I do that? Oh, by the way, I don't do water. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Stop it, that kangaroo's got a kick. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm running out of time. Come on, here we go. And one more question. What do you think of Deep Purple? Uh, nothing. Uh, my mind is a blank. <laughs> Why, are they big here? Yes. Oh, how pathetic. <laughs> I thought we buried that lot years ago. Oh, well. Bad habits die hard. OK, thank you. Y'all come now. We've got Killing Joke and uh, also Grapes of Wrath and Echo and Bunnyman coming for you very shortly. Yeah, dreadful too. Look at that, look at that. Real. But funk is really nothing new, I think. Then you think wrong. What's new about funk? I don't know, but you still think wrong. Why, why do you ask me all these silly questions? Do you really expect me to answer them? I find honesty is the most offensive thing in the world. And you've just been attacked Since with it. When? That oh. we should get straight away. Come on. Think of something classic. <laughs> Toilet paper. So <laughs> the only good thing about this town now are the drugs. And there's none available. <laughs> oh, I'm As for drugs, just say no. That means more for me.